The Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Transit Project is the region's sixth light rail line. It will connect Portland State University with the South Waterfront, Southeast Portland, the City of Milwaukee, and North Clackamas County. The extension features 10 elevated structures, the longest of which is the harbor structure. At 1,738 feet in length, this aerial structure will carry light rail trains and buses from Southwest Natal Parkway in downtown Portland over Southwest Harbor Drive before turning south to weave its way between the support columns of I-5 and I-405. The structure returns to grade as it approaches the south waterfront Southwest Moody Avenue Max Station. Well, there were several vertical and horizontal challenges. We end up with reverse horizontal and vertical curves in the bridge and makes it quite a geometric challenge. It's actually those forces that conspire to make it kind of an elegant sweeping curve. Uh, and if, if it's curving and uh, it, it's got a ribbon effect in the horizontal, which was pretty intentional, we tried to play that up and accentuate the long line. Because of its conspicuous location, the harbor structure was required to receive approval from the City of Portland Design Commission. The commission is made up of several representatives uh, across the spectrum of, of development in the city. Uh, that would include architects, landscape architects, developers, real estate, uh, public at large. Um, we also have a member of the Regional Arts and Culture Council, uh, as well as engineers. So the intent to be is it's a not just designers, but rather a cross-section of the entire urban dwellers of the city. When we get to the design commission, in some ways it's sort of in a way like brokering a deal, brokering a deal between the public and the, the, uh, the needs of the project, including cost and including the, the critical parts of the, the design and engineering. When we were at the end of the preliminary engineering phase, this was actually a two different bridge type structure that met more or less where I'm standing. We got the notion that possibly a weathering steel approach would be cost effective for the whole length and we investigated that quickly and decided that we would go for it and um, approach design review with an all weathering steel concrete structure. And I think they really appreciated that transition. They'd seen the two concrete uh, approach prior to the formal design review process, but I think that that really was a good uh, change that we made, anticipating where the commission would um, probably what their emphasis would be on this idea of a, of a continuous ribbon, a continuous gesture between the two neighborhoods. Once completed, the harbor structure will serve as an important link, both functionally and visually, between South Waterfront, Portland's newest multi-use neighborhood, and South Auditorium, Portland's oldest urban renewal district, each with its own unique history and design legacy. The South Waterfront has a rich history of industry. The Schnitzer Steel and the Zydel companies both set up shop there in the early to mid-1900s, and Zydel remains in the same location today. The South Auditorium District is very much informed by Lawrence Halperin, who designed three fountains based on a metaphor about water moving from the Cascades through the valley and down to the Columbia Gorge. And a lot of those forms coming of the earth, we tried to uh, incorporate those in the parts of the harbor structure that come up out of the earth. So we, we, we tried to replicate some of that shape family and then overlaid on the top uh, is of course this very uh, uh, beautiful, rich steel color. And it, it's essentially trying to combine uh, both of these two districts uh, pretty explicitly and in a pretty refined way. The harbor structure and the rest of the 7.3 mile light rail extension is scheduled to open in September 2015. Visit trimed.org slash PM for more information.